All right, so this is going to be the first uh, What Sold video I'm doing. It's for the month of May uh, 2019. Obviously sold more stuff than this, but um, you know we all make bad buys sometimes and we only make a few dollars on something, so I'm not showing you that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just showing you some uh, either interesting or good sales I had. Um, I'll tell you what I paid for it and everything. Um, I do sell a lot of t-shirts. Just This is just Disney Lion King shirt, sold for $12.99. Um, I got it for a dollar at a thrift store. Uh, Disney shirts, I'm not saying they f fly off the shelves, but like people will buy them. Uh, next we have this uh, these Carhartt shorts. I think these are like uh, old vintage ones. Um, this is like the second pair I've had. These sold for $14.99. I got this at like a church sale um, for like fill a bag for like five bucks. Like I think each item ended up being like 50, 60 cents. So that's like what I paid for these and they sold pretty quickly. Uh, maybe I underpriced it, I'm not sure. Here is a Lamb of God t-shirt, sold for $14.99. I got this at a thrift store for a dollar. Here is a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition uh, graphing calculator. Um, I had a video of when I got a lot of stuff like this. Um, there's actually another sale from that lot. I got four graphing calculators, like a DS, some Game Boy Advance games, and some other accessories. So um, I think I, after fees and shipping, I made about $35 on this sale, which is what I paid for the entire lot of everything. So this alone paid for all that. So everything else um, from that will be a pure profit. And we'll get to another item from that soon. Um, here's a Dietz and Watson hat. Um, this is just how you can be creative by uh, for sourcing. Like I'm at my local deli in Dietz and Watson is there doing promotions, handing out coupons and giving away merchandise. And they gave me this hat for free. It's brand new. I'm not going to wear it. I put it on eBay thinking I was wasting my time that no one was ever going to buy it. And sure enough, it actually sold relatively quickly. Here we have a Nintendo DS Lite. This is also what I got from that calculator lot. So this is all pure profit because the calculator paid for the whole lot. Um, this had a charger and everything. It had a bunch of stickers on it. If you see it, if you saw the video, um, when I picked it up. Uh, I, I took those off, cleaned it up, and it looks kind of nice. There was some uh, issues with the screen, but the unit did work completely fine. I um, had the stylus and everything, but yeah, uh, $29.99. Uh, here's an interesting thing. Um, if you're not familiar with Magic the Gathering, it's, it's a lot to learn just off the bat, but I used to play this, and by playing, you start to learn what cards are used. Uh, don't get me wrong, a lot of the cards are worthless. Don't just pick up any old magic card. Uh, there is websites, uh, tcgplayer.com is a website where you can type in the card name and it'll show you all the different sets it's in and like what the average price it sells for. Uh, these were like um, like super rare, they called a masterpiece series. Like you had to get like two and a half boxes to pull one of these and then uh, whatever you pull could have been a different card too. So. I had this one from when back when I used to play. I've had it just uh, in this case for a long time. I finally decided to sell it, but this just shows how crazy it is um, what some people will pay for magic cards if you were not familiar with that. Um, but you have to know what you're uh, what you're looking at because a lot of them are worthless. But yeah, $185.24 uh, for this thing. I was, um, I guess, glad to get rid of it because I wasn't really using it. It was just sitting there. I didn't want to damage it. Or anything like that but yeah uh, once again very uh, very difficult to learn um, unless you're like familiar with the game and the problem with picking this stuff is, up is that most people know what the value is for it so the only only way you're gonna get this like I didn't actually pick this up like I said it's from my personal collection that I pretty much no longer have but the only way you're gonna get magic cards with people not knowing is if some old lady selling her son stuff that like went off to college because if the son's there he knows what he has and you're not gonna get a deal on it people want what People want what these things are worth. You're not. It's. I've never. I've only seen magic cards at a estate sale once, and that's it. Never at a garage sale or anything. Um, but yeah, before I actually started reselling on eBay, I um was. I started off on eBay just selling my magic cards because while while playing, you acquire a lot of cards that you don't necessarily use. And I was like, all right, well, I'll sell the ones I don't use to kind of, you know get some money back from my hobby, which is kind of why I don't play this anymore. It's very expensive to play. And now they have an online version, MTG Arena. But um, yeah, it's kind of a 
what got me started with eBay. If it was my choice, I would only sell this kind of stuff, but it's nearly impossible to source uh, for cheap enough. Here we have some Cohen E7 headphones sold for $34.99. I got these for $2.50 at a yard sale. These were open, but they looked like they'd never been used. The cords were still wrapped. Um, I did test them. They worked fine. Um, I almost kept them for myself, but I did decide to sell them. They sold uh, within the first 30-day cycle. Here's uh, Guitar Hero Metallica for the Wii. It is new sealed, but there is some issues with the seat. Uh, with the seal which i did uh mention but uh even with that it sold for 19.99 i got this for a dollar at a yard sale here's a just a dicky shirt uh, with like you know cool logo on it not just a plain old shirt and um yeah i got this at a thrift store i believe for a dollar sold for 14.24 here's an apple ipad ipod nano uh the first gen has the um, I was actually surprised. I got this and I, I paid like two bucks maybe for this, maybe not even at like a, a lot at a yard sale. Um, I was surprised that uh, these go for that much because, uh, you know, the shuffles, I know are a little smaller, but they don't bring as much as this. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think um, at the time, the cheapest one listed uh, in this color and uh, was like 70 something i just put mine for this and it sold uh, pretty fast uh, i love picking up ipods um, they usually sell pretty quickly and here's a uh, patagonia shirts i i found five patagonia shirts in a stack at a yard sale i paid a dollar each um, all five of them sold within a few days for 20 bucks um, i'm not going to show you everyone like uh, the shirts there was four other shirts exactly like this but in different color combinations and then there's one with like a bike on it. But yeah, $5 into $100 in sales within a few days. Um, I, I had a Patagonia hat before too that sold for like $25 like instantly, like within a couple hours. I knew this brand was good, but I didn't realize it was that good. Like now I'm definitely on the lookout for this kind of stuff or for that brand. And the last thing is um, I lotted these up just because they were the same size. Uh, two dicky short sleeve button up shirts. They were both extra large, little like work shirts. Um, I got this at the same church sale fill a bag as the Carhartt shorts, so these were, you know, 50 cents, 60 cents, I don't know, something like that. But um, but yeah, that's uh, those were some interesting items that uh, I sold in May. Like I said before, I obviously sold more than that, but these are just ones I decided to share. And um, I'll continue to post videos of stuff I pick up, but uh, until then, I'll do another video of what's sold in June. Uh, until next time.